Whoa there. Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor, loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Listen up! Choppers, get your nuts hip. No fuck ups this time. Daddy's home. Take aim.
Ryan. He sees all. Welcome to Ryan Amusement. Insert your ticket now. Advice for children under three. I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please. Enjoy the park. Didn't you, Edna? Everything you touch turns to shit! Mean? You're mean, Roger. It was probably your clumsy fat. You were the birth of a- <laughs> Everybody's on the go these days. Everybody but you. You still haven't experienced Ryan Industries new spring line of plasmids. Isn't it about time you got caught up? Evolve today. We lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the Little Sisters. Something physical, possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them Big Daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills.
used to be there was no margin in running the gift shop. I couldn't hardly sell off this tourist crap for a penny more than the cost of manufacture. Then I met a straight shooter named Sinclair, and he laid a sweet deal on me. Says he's got some hard luck folks down at Popper's Drop can whip up this junk at half the cost I used to pay. I had to pick a needle or two out of the shipments, but all in all, nobody's the wiser. Yeah, I'm all the rich now. I know the surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there, in service of the common good. But then, I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. We are, we are nothing. nothing. Mere engines of self-interest. Together, we are the family. And through unity, we transcend the self. And yet they can tell. Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for... <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mum says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. Dog. I wanted to see these dog-eaters, so I waited until Mum was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog-eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. I found one of those children at last. Filthy dress, all alone. I approached her, praying that it was my little girl. But she was gorging herself on blood from a corpse. 
It wasn't her. I stared, just, just reeling. And then that skinny, armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped, but could Cindy have become one of those things? I've got to find her now more than ever. son you did it now just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy we're in business now there are corpses all over rapture and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them Find one. This way. It's this way. Come on, Mr. B. No Mr. Angels dancing. She don't even have to look at the baby. She won't even know it's there. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. a child of the family, not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished or they'll never give up the hunt.
now you know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. One night in a warm, clean bed. Is that too much to ask? Oh, 
Daddy, over there. I've been rationing my supplies ever since the park got cut off from the rest of Rapture. Gotta stay strong. I'm holed up in this workshop, surrounded by those wailing brats, trying to beat their way in. They want my food, my guns. They want it all. But I got a plan. I'm gonna fix up the transport sub that's been rusting in the maintenance bay. Then I'm gonna get the hell out of this hole. These animals want Rapture? They can have it. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. Chief, we've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there.
woman is a damned collectivist. Here in Rapture, how could the Council fail to see it? Worse, to hide her intent, she gulls these patients of hers into a religious frenzy. New Kremlin will rise and swallow the Council House before they realize they've been had. I will not have my city swindled by the parasite. I never used the belt on him or, or shouted him or nothing. I do everything right. Rapture is a paradise of the ego, Elena. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But truth, rather, is in the body. Already they grow weary of struggling against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent backs, the drawn faces. Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task to answer. What do you want with her? invests the power of his mind in a single miraculous idea and naturally begins to rise above his fellows. But the parasites say no. Discovery must be regulated. It must be controlled. And finally, surrender. An artist strives to frame his ideals in an image, to challenge his audience and make his vision immortal. But the parasites say, no, your art must serve the cause. Your ideals endanger the people. Arise, they pierce my soul. Run from the Lord. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers.
what Tin Man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. since we were trapped in this rotten park. <sighs> I haven't been eating. The children need all the supplies we've got left. Need them more than I do. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I can feel myself getting weaker. The children have noticed the condition I'm in, of course. What will happen once I'm gone? I'll be all alone. Hello? Drop that at once! <laughs> oh.
this way I know this facility is vital to the preservation of secrecy and rapture, but seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking on, him what, me. if anything, he had learned here. He said his chores didn't seem so bad as long as mother wouldn't send him to the surface. You would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks... Light up enemies to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spreads. of you. It says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. But this party just is his. Carl needs a light for his cigar, and no one can help him.
knows the sun. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. Outstanding sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face? Lem was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Andrew Ryan. He reckoned the free market was some kind of Holy Spirit gonna lead us all over the rainbow. And I reckon it's a big fat hooker too dim to spot a wooden nickel. So old Andy went and became his own ghost, and I whittled nickels till I made them. 